Right, so if you don't know already, my name's Becca. Um, I've done a couple of these workouts now. Um, but today we are going to be doing core. So it's a two-part workout. We've got a workout to start off with and then we've got an arm wrap to finish. And like I said, we don't need any equipment apart from something to lie on, on the floor. Um, as long as it's comfortable, you should be fine. So we'll start with the warm-up. We're going to do 20 seconds on. 10 seconds off, we've got quite a few exercises to get through just to get your heart rate up. So, at the time already, as soon as you're ready, if you just want to start to jog. So, 20 seconds, just nice and easy. That's it. Halfway there. Three, two, 10 seconds. So the next one we're going to do is high knees. So knees at the front. Get yourself ready. Three, two, off you go. Knees up. That's it. Nice and high if you can. That's it. Keep it going. Three, two, 10 seconds. Next one, we're going to do the opposite. So hands behind, and we've got butt kicks. Get ready, three, two, and heels up. So nice high intensity. Get that heart rate up. That's it, halfway there. A little bit faster if you can. Three, two, 10 seconds, right, next one, we're slowing it down a little bit. We're going to go into squats, so be taller with the bar. Get ready, three, two, off you go. So just nice and easy. That's it. Go a little bit longer than you can. Good, keep it going. Three. Two, 10 seconds. Right, next one on the floor. We're going to go into press ups. That's it, get ready. Nice and long. Three, two, off you go. So if you can, so you can get your nose on the floor. You can either do it on your knees or on your feet. Three, two, the 10 seconds. Next one, we've got two left. Is mountain climbers, so an upper plank, one knee at a time. Three, two, that's it, off you go. So tuck in your knees, into your tummy. So if you can, pick the pace up. Three, two, Good, right, last one, back on your feet. We're gonna do a reverse lunge. So you're stepping back, bending your knees, and standing up. Off you go. That's it, nice and low. Halfway there. Three, two, and relax. So, warm up out the way, your heart rate should be a little bit higher than it was when we started. What we're going to do for your first workout is we've got two rounds and you've got three exercises. You're going to do a minute on each. Yeah? So, your first exercise is a bear crawl. So, what you want to do is go down onto the floor, onto your hands and knees. And from here, all you're going to do is lift your knees off the floor. From there, opposite hand, opposite foot, go forward, same backwards. Yeah? Go as far as you've got with the space you've got. So if you can do loads, go a little bit further, a little bit further back. If you've not got a lot of space, just do what you can do in the space you've got. That's exercise one. Exercise two. We're going down onto the floor, lying flat. 
hands to the side. Now we're going to pull the shoulders off the floor and you're going to tap your heels. Yeah, what we don't want is to be slithering on the floor. Lift your shoulders up, squeeze your tummy, tap your heels. Number two is heel taps. Number three is leg raises. So again, we want to keep those shoulders up. Hands to the bottom a bit easier. Shoulders up. So let's go just above the floor and back up. Yeah? Now, if it's easy with your hands here, take them out. Makes it a little bit harder. So we're going to do a minute on each. Little rest and go again. And that's workout one. So we're going to start with our bear crawls. So what you want to think about doing is squeezing your tummy up. Try not let your bum stick up in the air. Right, so a minute on each. We're going to one right into the other. Three, two, so bear crawl. So knees up, forward, and backwards. So keep your bum down. That's it, so keep it going. So you can do bigger steps, take a bit of a bigger step. That's it, squeeze your bum down. Bit of coordination as well. That's it, keep going halfway there. That's it, knees opposite. Forwards and backwards. A few more. Then we're going straight to the heel taps. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 5, 4, 3, 2, 8. The heel tap. So on the floor, shoulders up. Opposite hand. I mean, same hand, same foot. Now, if it's easy, take your feet a bit further out. So you've got to reach a little bit further. That's it, make sure you hit your foot. Again, if it's easy, hit the further, but make sure those shoulders are up right off the floor. Halfway there. So twist your arms as much as you can. Keep your shoulders high. You want to round them as much as you can off the floor. 15 seconds, then leg raises. Your core should be burning. 10, 3, 2, legs up, leg raises. Now, you can have a little bend in your legs if you need to, if you can keep them straight. Try and do that. Keep your shoulders up. Don't let your shoulders lie flat on the floor as well as your shoulders. Try and keep your head up with it. Look for your toes the whole time. So it's just above the floor, back up. Halfway there. And so keep it going. Try and get as many as you can in. So as soon as I say, we're back to the first one again. No rest, we're gonna rest after. Three, two, back to your bear crawls. So bear crawls, then we're on the heel taps, and then we're on the races, and then we're gonna rest. So knees up, opposite hand. Now you should be feeling this a lot more this time. If you're sucking your tummy up, because your core should already be burning. That's it. Keep going forward and backwards with the space you've got. Halfway there. So keep your bum down. Keep going 15 seconds. Go on, go there forward and backwards one more time. 10, 7, 6, 5, get ready for. Three, two, on your heel taps. 
So shoulders up, head up, twist right around. That's it, your core should be burning. Just as far as you can. Again, if it's easy, take those feet out. Make sure you can just reach them. Head up, halfway there. That's it, keep it going. Oh, that burns. 15 seconds. 10. Now we're going into leg raises. Five, four, three, two. Get ready for your leg raises. Off you go. So remember, shoulders up, head up. So just above the floor, back up. That's it, keep it going. If it's easy, take your hands away. If it's hard, just take your time. Halfway there. Come on, a few more. Then you can get a rest. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Good. So now we get a rest. We've got two minutes. Grab a drink quickly if you need one. And stretch your stomach out if you need to. Whilst you're doing that, I'll tell you what our next workout is. So part two of the workout is the AMRA. So it just means as many rounds as possible. So we've got an AMRA for eight minutes. So we're going to do as many rounds as we can in eight minutes. Again, we've got three exercises. Now these have reps, it's not time. So first exercise is bicycle crunches. So again, you're going to adapt that position while you're lying down. Your shoulders are up, legs are up, and you're going to take your arms out. What we don't want to try and do is keep them tucked in. So you're nice and open. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Yeah, that's your first exercise. You're going to do 30 of them. Second exercise is plank jacks. So on your hands, you're going to jump your feet out and back in. Now we've got 20 of those and then you've got 10 sit-ups. So you probably don't want to sit up this, but if not, fly all the way down, all the way up. So you've got 30 bicycles, you've got 20 plank jacks, so your hands stay still, just your feet jump in and out, and then you've got 10 sit-ups. Now sometimes it's a little bit easier if you've got something you can write Italian on. Um, but you're going to try and get as many rounds as you can possibly get in, in those eight minutes. Yeah? So we've got one minute first. So 30 bicycle crunches, so we're twisting right over. We've got 20 plank jacks, 10 sit-ups. Right. 10 seconds or so, get ready, grab a drink quickly if you need one. As many times as you can. All right, get ready. Start with your bicycle crunches. You've got 30. Right, ready. Three, two, off you go. So feet up, arms out. 30, five, six, seven, nine, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so as soon as you've done 30, 20 plank jacks. So in your own time, out and in. One. The so out and in is one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, 
So keep going in your bicycles, make sure you're not moving your arms, you're moving your whole core. So as soon as you've done 30 bicycles, 20 plank jacks, 10 sit-ups. That's it, keep going. Too slippy, <laughs> move it that way. Have to keep going, come on. So 30 best girls, 20 pound jacks, 10 sit ups, work as hard as you possibly can. We're three minutes in, we're going for eight minutes. Try and get as many rounds as you can. That's it, come on, keep it up. So make sure you know how many rounds you've completed. Oh, the sun burns. So keep your shoulders right up on your bicycles. That's it, we're exactly halfway there. Come on, keep it up. That's it, keep it up, come on. Now, however many rounds you've done already, I want you to try and double it by the time we're finished. That's it, come on, three minutes left. One more round off here. So keep going. That's it, remember, 
On your bicycle, shoulders come up off the floor. The top of your back does not want to be on the floor. That's it, around that 30 bicycles, 20 pad jacks, 10 sit-ups. We've got two minutes left. That's it, since you've done one on the next one, you need to grab a drink, grab one quickly, but make sure it's quick and you're straight back into it. That's it. But last minute, finish off as much as you can. That's it, come on, keep working. She's still moving. 30 seconds, come on. Don't stop. Try and finish around it on. So keep going. That's it, last 10, don't stop, move on to it, if not. 10, 9, 8, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, and relax, well done. That's our eight minutes of second workout, done. <laughs> so, I'll give you a minute, catch your breath if you need to. And then we've got to cool down. And we're all done. That was quite high intensity pull I did. So catch your breath. Deep breaths if you need to. As soon as you're ready, you put one leg out in front and push your hips down to the floor. Hands on your knee if you can't do that. Just put them on the floor. Whatever feels more comfortable. That's it, now focus on your breathing when you're here. And straighten your leg, pull your toe back towards you. Try and get your nose onto your knee. And swap legs, and then out in front. And push forward. Again, just keep focusing on that breathing. And straighten your leg, pull that toe back. Try and get that nose as close to your knee as you can. Good. Stand yourself up. Now we're going to take the legs out into a straddle. And we're just going to fall down into the middle. Now it doesn't matter if your hands don't touch the floor, as long as you feel it in the back of your legs. And take both hands around the one leg. See if you can get your nose on your knee. And walk them around to the other side. And back to the middle. Try and go a little bit deeper into that stretch. Good. Right, on your tummy. Now what we're gonna do is put your hands under your shoulders. And stretch up. So push your shoulders right back. Feel good as you can. Now really deep breaths. You should feel your core stretching, especially if it was burning before. And come down one more. Push up. 
Big deep breaths. And push back, bum on your heels. And then we are all done for a day. Well done. How did you find that? Let's see it my hair. <laughs> no brother. Well done. Well done. See you later.